Hello everybody, Red Zero Inferno here. Welcome back to some more Tomb Raider. I almost says Dark Souls again. This is not Dark Souls, this is Tomb Raider. We are in a tomb right now. Go in here, figure out the puzzle. These guys? We're gonna figure out the puzzle of this tomb here. And we're on this tomb. That. First things first though, we need to figure out what the fuck we're doing. I think what the fuck we're doing is this. Yeah. Get here, like this. Hop back over. Light these things on fire. I don't think these are bodies. Yeah, that's definitely not a body. That was a body. Hello. Okay. Those other things were not bodies. Oh. And I guess, push this off. There we go, good. Now, I'm up. Good. Oh god, okay. There we go. There we go, made it. Did it. Ooh, a chest! Holy hell, look at all the shit in there. You only took one thing? Look at all the shit that's in there. Look at all that gold. Holy fuck. Fuck. Take more than one thing, damn it. Alright, uh, um... All we gotta do is get the fuck out of here, I guess. Which is this way, apparently. I didn't even see that rope there. Yeah! Here's that bonfire I was looking at earlier. Skill point. And we have quite a few gear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend a skill point. Uh... Hold up. This one. Here, here. Hey, do, is there any more upgrades for the bow? Nope. Not right now, anyway. Alright, so. Get extended mag. Yeah, there we go. Good. Okay. Now, oh, let's get the fuck out of here. What? Oh, hey again, corpse. How are you? Yay, hey, more skeletons. App updated. Ab to see board locations. <clears throat> All right. Oh, there was a GPS cache right here, and I didn't even see that when I came in. Interesting. All right. Now we can move on. Uh, I think we were supposed to be going across this bridge, right? Nope, that's wrong. Up there? Hold on, I don't remember how to progress here. Something over there, but I can't get to it from here. Oh, right there, I'm an idiot. It's right in front of me. It was right the first time with having to go across the bridge, but then I didn't realize that this was here. This climbing rock stuff here. Which is conveniently slightly more white than the rest of the rocks. There are enemies up. Hey, you find anything? No, nothing. What? Nothing. There's no one up here. They never make it up this far. Should we head back up 
Come back out. I see your face. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come out here. Come out. There we go. Give me those arrows. You don't deserve that. You don't deserve that. Hopping across here. Across here. You don't deserve that. That box. And I'm full on arrows. Oh, let me read this book. I have spoken to some of the villagers on the island. I was expressly forbidden to leave the palace, but this did not stop me. My duties here are clear. I must learn the truth, but the stories I uncovered defy belief. Rumors abound of the queen's communion with the spiritual world. They say she commands the sun and the rain, that her lands are abundant by her will alone. <laughs> this is certainly nonsense. But what can be the cause of such whispers? Is this how she controls her people? By engaging their primitive superstitions? I saw absolute reverence in their eyes when they spoke of her. Yet, I also sense fear. Her people are treated with fairness, taxed reasonably, and are well protected by her storm god. No wonder some of them even pray to her. It's as if she were more than just a queen to them. Spreading discontent through her people may well be a harder task than I imagined. The ambassador that uncovered a mystery surrounding the Sun Queen. It seems she had some kind of unnatural hold over people. That would be, I'm assuming, her abilities to control the storms. Which, by the way, also means that she's doing this right now. <laughs> May not necessarily be doing it intentionally at the moment. Also, I got stuck down here and I'm fucked. There's a spot over here. I'm up. There we go. Again! Wait, what is it? Oh, another GPS cache. Cool. <coughs> Hello, chicken. Why are you flipping shit? Why are you flipping out? Bruh. Don't hey. Hey. Hey! How did you even survive for this long? The buildings that we're in are falling the fuck apart and you're still alive here. Because I'm assuming you weren't with these guys that we just killed. That wouldn't make any fucking sense. Alright. So, I guess... Oh, back this way. I'm dumb. That looked glitchy. I apologize. Also, I found another artifact. Kind of mortar and pestle. Probably used for preparing medicinal herbs. There are small bone fragments in the mortar well. Hopefully animal bones. Hopefully. I mean, humans are technically animals, so... Speaking of which, earlier, I was, uh... Looking at my fucking suggestions and shit on YouTube, and I found... Cow Chop under... Animal... Suggested for you. I don't know if you guys know what cow chop is, those of you who uh, watch my stuff. I don't know if you know what cow chop is, but their people, they they do they do the more fucked up shit among YouTube. Um, I don't know. I just found it kind of funny. Okay. Oh, oh, hey, what? How did the fucking torch survive that? And I'm okay with it, but what? There we go. There we go. I climb up there? It looks like it. Yeah, I think so. I don't think anything else. For... Oh, there's a fucking GPS cache right here, though. There we go. Climbing. There we go. Okay, it's fucking. Oh, Jesus. 
Ball sack. Fucking Himiko really doesn't want me climbing this mountain. Balls! Fire hurts! Tried to move, but for some reason it wouldn't let me. Hey! Hey! Right in your face. Nope! Nope! Fuck you! There we go, right in your face. Give me these. There we go. Good! Loot corpses. Give me your shit. We got. Give. Okay. Um, can I light the torch here? Good. Yes. Yeah, this looks like ambush. Obvious ambush is obvious. Holy sh! Oh. oh, bonfire. Okay, that's good. I didn't ask you to sit down, Lara. Oh, okay, I see. So apparently it's time for a quote-unquote flashback. Sure, if you say so. Mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. <coughs> this looks like it might be an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey. Who's this little fox, huh? Oh, he's cute, huh? <laughs> To my daughter. Oh. Fourteen years old. And smarter than you'll ever be. She must must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. <laughs> Here. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. <laughs> my father. So I was on the walk right. You're gonna spot a midnight. Oh hey, Grim. Time to button down the hatches. I bet it with you. So I was on the lock right, and this thing comes looming at me, looming out of the water it was. So I give her a young glass of kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot of trouble nine times out of ten, that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off, and I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, fam. Bug Ness. Big old Nessie. Probably. <laughs> Raisin and Roth are having a thing. Big. Hi, can you take B-roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, Pillar 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got it. Cut, 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 cut! cut. I'm assuming that's the hissy fit they were talking about earlier. Is, is he coming back? <sighs> I'll go get him. Pretty sure that's the hissy fit Sam was talking about in the epi the last episode or an episode before that. I don't know. This damned reality TV business. I'm I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam. Not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Doctor Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like that. I, I 
study them so much. I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one, your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Five years old, it was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> Well then. Okay, Lara. Pull yourself together. They're counting on you. So there's a fucking thing back here. That you missed on your way through because this I didn't probably found its way into Japanese circulation sometime in the mid nineteenth century. Pretty. Or if it has any value still. Probably does, actually. Let me, um... Yep, I thought maybe. I have another skill point, apparently. This time we're gonna go with... Crawler upgrade. Yeah, sure. Why not? And more damage. Basically gives me more health. That's good. Oh. Okay, I'm full. Emma. Who the hell are you telling to sh- Balls! Oh, okay, there's a big machine gun up there. Fire sucks. Fuck off. That's a big gun. What am I supposed to do about this asshole? Nothing I can do. Ow. Apparently it wasn't very pa ha ha ha. These are tank shells though. Hello dead body. Hi, how are you? No. Alright. <laughs> just, just stop. Give up. Sorry about that guys, I don't know what the hell happened. 
Oh, here's the fucking gun. Oh. There's the guy that was using it. Holy shit. Hey, how's it going? Fuck you. Dumbass. Anything over here? Thought I saw something back here. I do. There's this, which is helpful. Oh. Oh, never mind. Alright, moving on. Hey. Yeah. This bunker. World War II era. Japanese. Japanese World War II bunker? Yeah, that's all right. False. It's breathing. Oh. For better or worse, I now follow Father Matthias. If I'm going to be stuck on this island, at least I have the best possible job. He calls me his first salary. Matthias might be insane, but he's smart and dangerous. He knows things about this island. I believe is our only chance of ever getting out of here. Matthias keeps us happy. We control the guns and the food. Anything the storm brings to this island is ours, and we decide the fate of any new survivors. Any who defy us are killed. We are masters of this fucked up prison. Group Matthias is sorry, they sound like prisoners, dangerous and power hungry. Good job. How many came in from the new rack? A couple dozen. Not a Matthias, so the ritual? Probably. Find out tonight. Oh. Fuck. Give me that. Locker? Oh, salvage. Is that all that was back here? Apparently. Put on then, I guess. Bathroom. Anything in here? Oh, doesn't look like it. Apparently I'm full of air. Okay. Can't open that door. No. Not. Bye. All right. Bent through there. How does you feel about this? No? Turn it. Valve over here. Ugh, gas in there is not good. So now that I got the gas running through there, I guess I can do this. Hey, 
that's gonna do. Oops. Jeez, that knocked him all the way back here. Oh, good. Two gun. It's old, but it'll work. Just end it. Please. Yeah, that'll be nice. There you go. Go to hell. Expedition field report. Despite loss of two cargo ships to intense storms, the expedition has made landfall. We've established a communication center high in the mountains, and coastal base construction has commenced. Initial surveys have revealed several possible excavation sites. The island is much larger than we originally anticipated, and layered with many centuries of history. The task of identifying the source of the storms will be long and arduous. But if we succeed in our mission here, our victory in this war will be certain. Old World War II field report. The Axis power came from here to or came here to study the storms. What did they find something apparently. I don't know. GPS cache over here. Also, I apologize for jumping so quickly from killing this guy and saying go to hell to uh, jumping into that, but I didn't realize that that was what that would be. The laughter I had already. Oh fuck. Come on. There we go. Good. That worked out well, I think. But all your fucking corpses. A lot of loot. It's in here. Oh, good. More loot. Oh, this? I can't read that, it's too low res. I don't know what the deal with that is. Like, why is everything super fucking low res? I didn't set it to that. I set the settings to medium. Oh. oh that says embrace the flames. I don't fucking know. Oh, hi. That went well for you, didn't it? Wow. I almost feel sorry for that guy, except that I don't. Oh, hey. Found it. Communications panel. Looks like it's destroyed, though. Holy shit. Oh, God. Okay. That works. Alex, are you there? Yeah. The console's a wreck. Damn it. Well, unless you see a radio shack around, you're gonna have to patch it manually through the maintenance panel. Okay. That sounds simple enough. Yeah, well, uh, you're gonna have to find it first. On those old towers, they installed those panels high up. I mean, way high up. Oh boy. Climbing again. Great. I don't know why everything is so low quality. Like, not only is it low quality for you guys because of like OBS recording is just kind of low quality in general, but also like everything is really fuzzy and blurry right now and for me, and I don't know why that is. Maybe I should like restart my game or something. I am alone now. The rest of them are dead. This is for the best. I watched from the cliffs as their makeshift boat was tossed and turned by the storms. 
The clouds look like a hand upon the water, desperately clawing at their doomed boat. None survived the wrath of the storm. I observed it carefully. The storm was localized and sudden. And just as suddenly, it was gone. And this is the most interesting detail. It didn't seem random. I sensed emotion, something deliberate. I don't know what's happening on this island, not yet. But if I ever hope to escape, I must understand this phenomenon. Now my real work begins. All right, well, that's from Matthias again. Um, as soon as I reach the next bonfire, which shouldn't be too far from here, I will, uh, oh God, hot. As soon as I reach the next bonfire, I will uh, end this uh, episode. Why the hell is it so, oh, ow. Why the hell is it so hot in here? That tower better work after all this. I certainly hope so. Ow! Fuck you. Fuck you, Ven. There we go. Jesus, the temperature changes must be crazy. Making your body freak out, not know what the fuck to do. All right. This isn't normal. I mean, we're on the top of a mountain. I'm pretty sure it is normal. What the hell is that? That's not a view. What am I looking at? That's skybox. That is literally straight up skybox. I'm looking at over there. Anyway, like I said, we're on the top of a mountain, so this is normal, or at least normal-ish. Anyway, like I was going to say, I am going to end this episode here because I have reached the other bonfire. Also, this is actually where I stopped at the end of the last time I tried recording this. Before, like, I had uh, frame rate issues. Well, I mean, I was having frame rate issues when I got here. But anyway, last time, not now. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a pleasure. I hope you are enjoying my playthrough of Tomb Raider. Um, that skybox looks disgusting. Fuck. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.